Welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. This is a safe space where we invite healthcare providers to unapologetically be themselves after the working day. My name is Jennifer George, and each week I will connect you with guests and stories that will help transform your stress to success and fulfillment. Are you with me? Grab your drink of choice and let's chat. Hey everyone, welcome to the Healthcare Provider Happy Hour. I'm your host, Jennifer George, and I'm joining you this evening with a green tea. Today I want to chat with you about doing something for yourself that you know will help others. And that story we tell ourselves in between that. How many times have you, as a healthcare provider, felt like you were so inspired to help someone and knew that your story or knew that your practice could better serve someone's life, but have stopped yourself from sharing it because you are telling yourself a bigger story about why it'll be rejected, why it won't be accepted, why you're not the right person to do it. I mean, I've had this dialogue, I continue to have this dialogue with myself almost every single day before I post something. And What I tell myself through this, what helps me actually take action is the fact that it might help someone. And that's it. I had someone recently share a photo that she wanted to post to Instagram and she hesitated and she was sitting in contemplation over it because she didn't know if she should. She had her own self-doubt creeping in. She was anxious over it. She didn't know how it would be accepted. She was fearing rejection. And the one thing I asked is I said, are you doing this for yourself or are you doing this for others? And once I said that, once I brought in others and serving others through it, her decision was made and she posted it. She overcame the fear and posted it. If it was just about herself, which in reality, it's about both, right? It's really about both because by sharing it, she liberated herself, she overcame fear, and that's huge. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to be so vulnerable, you know, in front of social media even, let alone people in real life that you see directly. But social media is a, is a whole other world too. You know, if you hear crickets, some people will take that very personally, right? So once... Um, once she overcame that fear in the service of others, it really helped herself as well. So if you're struggling in contemplation right now, if you're struggling to market yourself, to promote yourself, to put yourself out there, and also to offer content that might be valuable to somebody else, just remember that it might be valuable to somebody else. And by holding that, you could be, a dis- you could be doing a disservice to somebody that could actually use your presence or your information or your, you know, your enlightenment, okay? So just remember that if you're stuck in contemplation, if somebody else could be served by your taking action, that will help you move forward. And sometimes we need to do that. Sometimes we need to put ourselves aside we need to put our egos aside and we need to do something that will help someone else in order to take action to begin with. And then we find that we grow through that process too, right? We start to find, well, that, that wasn't as bad as I thought, or why not me? You know, you start to empower yourself a little bit more. And by, by continuing to practice in this manner, by serving others and serving yourself, serving others and serving yourself, it becomes less scary, okay? It becomes less um, fear-provoking, and it just becomes a part of you. That service that you provide just becomes a part of you, and that growth that you embody just becomes a part of you. So not only will people be looking at you for the information that you're sharing, maybe, but also for the fact that you stepped out of fear, that you stepped into courage, 
that you liberated them to be more of themselves as well. So let me know what you guys think. Have you ever been in this position of contemplation and it was more about you, you were making it more about you than you intended to begin with, that you your intention was to help somebody else, but then it became more about you than it did about them. I mean, we do it all the time. It's so easy to get stuck in it. And if you do get stuck in it, if you're wondering about where you should start, just simply reach out to me. Okay, you can DM me on Instagram at best obsessed with Jen, and we can talk more about that. You know, what's holding you back, what's really holding you back, and what would really propel you forward. Usually it has to do with the service of others. So until we chat next time, guys, remember to stay happy. So if you guys like this podcast, please subscribe and leave an honest review. Your feedback means everything to me. Your reviews are what moves this podcast forward, and I always appreciate receiving them. If you want to get a hold of me directly, reach out to me on social media. My handles are in the show notes, and you can always subscribe to my weekly newsletters at jenniferGeorge.co so that we can stay connected. So until next time, thank you guys so much again for your ongoing support support.